Hello, it is me, it is I, and it is thy. It's uh, Sunday the 27th of October, except it's not because it's September, and I'm currently still reading The Shadow Over Innsmouth and Other Stories of Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. Um, bit on edge this evening, but not as on edge as I was yesterday evening, so that's good. And uh, I will update you soon with an update soon. Hello, what is up? It is me, your boy Dane. It's currently Tuesday night, it's been a very hectic few days. My anxiety's been kind of bad, but possibly just because it's been so hectic. It's Tuesday the 29th of September, it's currently just gone 20 past 10. I've been at the art centre the last two days setting up for an event where we're going to light it up in red to call uh, awareness to like the struggles the events industry is facing. I also banged my head the other day up here, so I've got a bruise there, I've got a bite on my leg. I'm, I'm bloody falling apart mate, tell ya. Um, I've been eating alright though, so that's good. I've finished reading Lovecraft. Where did he go? He's over here. The Shadow Over Innsmouth and Other Stories. Uh, so it was okay. Wasn't it, Mr. Dude on the Front? <laughs> um, yeah, there wasn't too much evidence of his, you know, tendencies. Although I was talking to Susie, shout out to Susie if she's watching. Don't know if she watches my videos. I think she does because she told me that my kitchen needs cleaning. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, and she was like, well, to be fair, like, in, I think it was in the shadow over Innsmouth, you know, that there's this, like, message of, oh, don't breed with the lizard people. So, it is kind of like, don't mix races, but also it, you could read it, I said, well, I said you could read it as, like, an anti-bestiality thing. But, yeah, I think, um, I mean, I'm sure if I dug a little deeper as well, I'd find a lot more problematic in, like, these stories, but, uh, really, because I'm more reading them at, like, almost as research to, like, as a horror writer to see who went before me, you know? So, uh, and obviously he's a big influence on Stephen King, too, so... I, I think I've been more deconstructing his, like, storytelling, and actually, mostly I found the way he puts a sentence together, I think, um, that's what I was really interested in. Biggie's just come in. He was outside in the porch area, weren't you, Biggie? You gonna come in? Come on. Yes, he's a good boy. Yes, those are my chips. Daddy had chips. Please don't eat my chips. So I finished reading that Lovecraft book, uh, and now I am literally just started The Four Dimensional Nightmare by J.G. Ballard, which I'm very excited about because I read High Rise by Ballard. It was one of my books of the year, and um, so this will be my second Ballard. Uh, and this is short stories as well, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, how he comes across with those. I've made some more progress with uh, Hyperion, which I'm doing as a buddy read with Al from Big Art Books and Classics. And uh, I think like Noah and a few a few other people, like uh, Noah from everyone who reads Must Converse. And I don't know, I can't even remember who's reading it at this point. Because a lot of people are like further ahead than me as well, because I think they read the first book a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a couple of months ago, sorry. I'm like getting on for I'm probably about 60% of the way through it now and it's all right I did actually find the first section of it was like my favorite section so although there was a good section like following basically it's a bit like um, uh, the Canterbury Tales in a way and so because of that you sort of have tales within the tale and so you're naturally gonna have certain ones that you enjoy more than others um, but I would say the variance has been quite high for me, where like some of them I've really enjoyed, and then some of them I've really not enjoyed. And for, and for the most part, I still don't really know what's going on, and I'm on page 260. But it's one of those books, I think, where you, I'm probably, you probably, you finish reading it, and you're kind of like, okay, I think I got that. And then you could read it again and again and again, and you'd get more each time. It's a bit like June, I think, uh, who was it? Was it, it might have been everyone who reads it, must converse. Uh, a YouTube channel I watch anyway, they did a Hyperion and uh, June like a uh, uh, comparison kind of video which was quite interesting and I agree with a lot of the points although I always think, I still think June's better but I do have a June tattoo so I would think that wouldn't I. The other news is with my radio show, oh god man, um, I almost missed, missed it, I almost missed a show, um, I haven't missed any shows yet and I think we're on number 26 or 27 now. Uh, for my last one, we did a tribute show to Lionel M. McCauley, who's a spoken word poet who came to a few of the open mic nights at Wickham Art Centre, and he was a member of our company in residence there, uh, and he was he was shot and killed. Uh, a few people were actually, it was just this senseless act of violence. Um, 
A few people shot and killed just around the corner from a university campus uh, and unfortunately he was just caught in the crossfire and killed and a uh, really uh, talented guy and uh, obviously it's awful that he's passed away so so the show for last week was like a memory show for in his memory basically with a bunch of his spoken word uh, and then this week I hadn't interviewed anybody anybody so I had to do like a sort of a season finale where um we did some highlights although I did only use the highlights from a certain number of shows so I still have like the same number of shows again that I can dip into I could basically do a few more highlight shows if I can't find interviewees I guess but I am going to be speaking to Kaz from Cats and Camera here on Booktube uh, I'm going to be speaking to her on Friday and I think it's going to be a really interesting interview um, well for a start we're, we're actually like originally from fairly similar places I think she's East Midlands and I was West Midlands um, where I grew up so we've kind of and we're kind of roughly similar in age I'm a bit older than her because I'm ancient but um like quite similar tastes and stuff as well so um we're quite similar people I think in terms of and we both can love cats uh but also she's gonna have some really interesting stuff to talk about because her sister's a writer um Kaz I want to talk to her about booktube um I also want to talk to her about her photography and obviously that's taken a big hit at the moment because she did a lot of gig photography and you know that's no longer a thing anymore um, I also want to talk about things like LGBTQ, uh, like representation in books and why that's important. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to talk about, so, so it should be a good show. So that's where I'm at. Okay, I've now got a film some Lovecraft review and a wrap-up and a tag. Je crois que c'était tout pour ces vidéos de chats. Comme ça. J'apprends le français avec Vincent. Il regarde les chats. Les vidéos de chat, c'est très mignon. J'ai un chat, il est un chat noir et il est euh, dans. Oh! Il... <rire> il est devant ma... moi. <rire> il est dans la fenêtre. Tu es un grand chat noir. Il s'appelle Biggie et il est mignon. Il est beau. Hello, I'm crazy tired. I'm currently watching uh, Jack Septicai play Among Us, although I'm pretty sure I've seen these games or whatever, but just from a different YouTuber's point of view. Uh, I'm reading The Four Dimensional Nightmare by J.G. Ballard. It's some short fiction. It's pretty good so far. Um, he's rapidly becoming one of my new favourite writers. Um, well, I really enjoyed High Rise. That was a 5 out of 5. And this one is like 3.75, maybe 4 out of 5. Um, it's going to depend on the last few stories because obviously with every sto short story collection they, they tend to be some that you enjoy more than others but for the most part I have enjoyed it quite a bit uh, I was at the Art Centre yesterday doing the Light It In Red event so I put a little bit of footage of that in um, so that's good I've got a meeting there with Ruth the boss at 2 um, and then after that I might be going to meet somebody for dinner maybe but I haven't slept, I slept Right, here's how bad my sleep is. Saturday night, I slept 11 hours, 27 minutes. Sunday night, 10 hours, 29 minutes. Monday, 7.52. Tuesday, 10.18. Wednesday, 5 hours, 6 minutes. And then, yeah. I haven't, I haven't slept since then, I guess. So I'm coming up to 24 hours already, off the back of 5 hours of sleep. <laughs> But I did have all that extra sleep before, so hopefully I'll stay awake. Uh, we will see. I'm kind of a bit of a chronic insomniac, to be honest. Oh, I started reading this as well. Um, El Emuch, Mon Maitre Sahero. Uh, it's actually quite understandable. Um, my French isn't amazing, but it's all right. Je suis de retour, I've returned. Say yay, c'est le printemps, hallelujah. It's the, it's the spring. Où sont les poulettes? So, um, yeah, I started reading that last night. 
to try and get to sleep. I, I also started learning High Valyrian, although I can't remember any of it now. But um, slowly but surely. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, I'm just going to crack on with doing stuff. I've got a few more bits to film and I'm going to try and make a head start on next week's radio show as well. Because I stress about it. Palpitations, it's like, it's a whole thing. Yo, I'm watching uh, Jessica Alba on Hot Ones. And then after this, I think I'm going to watch... Sean, what's his name, from Hot Ones, is on Cold Ones, which is kind of funny. So Cold Ones is a podcast with Max Mofo and anything for views, I guess his name is. Um, yeah, worth checking out. I'm still reading The Four Dimensional Nightmare, I'm being productive. Um, I went, had a meeting at the art centre earlier, which went okay. Um, and then I went out for a coffee and then had a panic attack because of caffeine. Only a minor panic attack though, so it's alright. But I've decided caffeine just has to be a no. It's just screwing me up too much. Especially at the moment when I just don't really, like I need to talk to the doctor about my ECG results and stuff. So, um, But I, we did go for a walk though after that. So I did like five miles today or something, so that's good. And then had some food, so I had a vegan burger. And I successfully didn't drink, so today is like day one of Stoptober or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just, I was, I've already not been, I've not drank since last weekend actually. So last time would have been Friday night, I think. Yeah, Friday night. Um, and it's currently Thursday now. So I went out, went out earlier and I had a lemonade and um, an alcohol free cider. So that was nice. So. I don't see any reason why I can't do September and actually I kind of need to because it would just make me so much more productive because when you're not drunk you can do stuff you know so yeah maybe I'm just getting old I don't know uh, there we go now I'm in focus my computer just crashed on me while I was editing videos so now I'm doing now I'm doing a bit of vlog to update you except Fail Army's on in the background and I can't pause it because my computer crashed and it was streaming from my computer. So I'm just going to just talk over it I suppose. I finished reading wherever it's even gone, whatever it was I was reading. What was I reading? Oh I was reading The Four Dimensional Nightmare by J.G. Ballard and it was quite good. I don't know where the book itself is right now because my house is a mess. Here it is, it's down here. So I've got a few more tabs from this to record um, for my review of it. And then I've started reading Sparkling Cyanide by Agatha Christie. Um, and I'm using a Rizzler packet as bookmark tabs. <laughs> that was quite a good fail, army fail. Somebody was fishing and their friend just grabbed the bottom of the fishing rod and jiggled it. And they thought that, that there was a bite, as they say. Although I morally oppose fishing because reasons. But yeah, sparkling cyanide is quite good so far. Oh, I can log back into my computer. I might even be able to pause soon. Yeah, I'm enjoying sparkling cyanide. It's been pretty good. I, yeah, I went to town earlier today. There was an art exhibition on. That was quite good. It was fun to uh, go and see that. Um, one of my friends was displaying there. They also had some vinyls available, actually. So I got uh, the singles of A Message to You, Rudy, and um, uh, Maggie's Farm by uh, the specials and then I got uh, another brick in the wall by Pink Floyd and then I got over there which I haven't listened to yet I'll listen to it in a bit um, Nevermind by Nirvana on vinyl which is cool because you know so that's where I'm at now I'm just chilling and working and stuff yo it's Sunday uh, I'm currently watching Intervention which is like a documentary series focusing on interventions that people hold for people with addictions so it's pretty depressing um, and ironically enough I've just received an email from a band called Without My Addiction as well who want to be played on my radio show um, which they probably will do you know it's a good series very interesting but there's a lot of I don't know it's bleak like I don't know I feel like I shouldn't be watching it it's a bit like when you watch true crime and you feel like a bit weird because you're like this is you know I'm getting entertained by this but somebody actually was murdered horrifically here and like here it's like I am entertained by this but I am watching also like an addict's life falling apart, basically, you know? Although they do generally have happy endings. I think they, a bit like a lot of things like Fail Army and stuff, where they post like fail videos, they don't tend to post the ones where people actually genuinely get hurt or die or whatever. 
And so with these, I think they must film a whole shit ton of these episodes. And then they like wait to see how the person does. And then they only release the episodes that have kind of a happy ending. Although most people relapse, but it's addictions, mate. That's what happens, you know? But most of them relapse and then kind of get clean again, which I think is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I'm currently reading Sparkling Cyanide by Agatha Christie. I was up super late last night editing my novel and trying to clean my house and stuff. It's almost done now. We're sort of getting somewhere. So there's that. Um, I still need to do my hoovering and I need to do my walk for today. But it's raining outside and my phone's on no battery so I've been putting it off. Well, anyway, that seems like a good place to leave uh, this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.